This is hard work. Brute force, baby. Hey guys, ND Zero Gloves here, coming at you with another video. Today's video is how to do the hot water treatment break-in process or shaping process to your glove. <clears throat> so as you can see, this glove is really stiff. Got it today. Voice crack, guys, sorry. <laughs> really stiff, got it today. And today I'm gonna try out the uh, hot water process on it. I do this all the time, I love it. <clears throat> it's really, uh, really works well, in my opinion, from my personal experiences. All you're really gonna need is a glove, a mallet, and a baseball. You don't really need a mallet, but it'd be handy. You could just use a baseball the whole time if you wanted to, to pound when I do pound. And I got a, uh, a thermometer to tell the temperature of the water I'm gonna be using. But yeah, you don't need a, you don't really need a water. I mean, <laughs> my bad guys. You don't really need a, uh, what's the word boys? You don't really need a thermometer. You just need a, uh, you can just look up a picture on Google or anything, whatever browser y'all use and just see, uh, see how to see what temperature of water is just by the bubbles. I used to do that until I got this. It was cheap. I got it on Amazon. I'll, I'll leave a link on uh, this thermometer in the description, boys. As you can see, it's about 73 degrees in my house right now. But yeah. Anyways, catch y'all in a few. Uh, let me give y'all some specs of this glove. Ooh, almost got a wet. Give y'all some specs. Ooh, it did get a little wet. Pro S2172-2MO, 11 quarter inch glove. Super nice, guys. I love the colorway. Mocha with the uh, caramel. You dig it a little wet. Camel, my bad, caramel. Camel lacing all around, but as you see, it's filling up. Don't need too much water. There we go, that's good. All right, let's see. Yep, it's slowly rising. Let me, 150, perfect. Let's keep it there, turn off this. And bring the hot water over here to get started. All right, so the first thing I like to do when hot, about hot watering, I like to get inside of this part of the glove first, right here. <clears throat> get that water. Super nice boys. Get the fingertips. Get the lace in between the fingertips. Shake it out so it doesn't absorb too much water now, boys. Get the web now. Right, get some more thumb boys. Get the hinges, the palm. There we go, super nice. Get some more water. Alright, now we now I like to get the uh, the back of the fingers right here. Start with the pinky. Ah, super hot, guys. <laughs> no burning hazard, though, if you do it right. It's not hot enough to burn. Ooh, it's hot, though, boys. All right, let's go to the, to the web. Thumb. Let's get the palm. Ah, dang, boy, it's so hot. All right, 
Currently got it in my fingers. And with this cup for you. And then, as you can see, this glove is fully lathered in water. Might go two or two rounds of lathering it. And as you can see, the glove is pretty soft, formed to my hand. And so basically, I like to start forming it. Get my little flare, that's what I like to do first. Get the flare going. Beard up a little bit. Fix any creases if there's any before. Get a nice deep pocket in there if you want it. Oh yeah, you see that boy? Obviously it's gonna stick on back there, but uh also like to stretch out these fingers. Oh, it has more. Stretch out these fingers. Obviously, don't go too crazy, but it takes a little strength. So now, stretching it out, getting nice and wide because this is 11 quarter inch glove, boys. As you can see, let's go here. You have to do it over and over again where it's not going to hold. I like to roll my fingers in so. I don't care if it creates a little bit of bubbles because it kind of does that. It tends to do that. But oh well. It's already getting some form to it. A little bit more water, boys. And oh yeah, this is a beaut. What can I say, boys? I'm going to add some more to the palm. I mean, to the, uh, to the lining. To the thumb, so the form a little bit. Some of that water out. I'm trying to form a thumb to a uh, middle finger. Maybe a little bit right here in between two right here. Super nice. Dang. This glove is a beauty. What y'all thoughts on this glove? It's a nice mocha color. You can see already. So we're already getting a little bit more broken in. And to be honest, this speeds up the process, but I could care less if it speeded it up, the breaking process. I use it mainly just to form my glove. All right, next up, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do the hinges. All right. This help get the clothes you want. I mean, I personally recommend this. You do it right. <clears throat> Stretch out the fingers a little bit. Maybe a little bit more flair I want, but uh, it's basically holding the, sh the uh, shape I want so far. All right, let me scoot y'all boys back. Get a pillow. Right here. This is what I do to get the uh, hinges. I squeeze, and basically where I want to squeeze, I get my glove, take it off, grab where I'm trying to squeeze at, and just pound away on the break points. This is hard work. Brute force, baby. Looks like it's that. You can see. Let's put it on. Fixes it right up. Oh yeah. Get that pocket. You smash that pocket as much as you want. Get that little form going again. Make sure y'all play with it while it's drying too, so it keeps the form.
Loving it so far, boys. I like to get these fingers a little bit wider. I don't know how they're stretching. Oh, there we go. This hard work. Get the. Uh, also, like to do this a little bit sooner. I forgot to do it in the beginning. Just works or not. Ah, boys. Oh, y'all just fell. Oh, y'all just fell. That just helps with the. You know. I'm not even sure what to call it. But yeah. Just pound away, boys. And this is what I do as the first step to break in my glove during the process of breaking in a glove. Get the form, speeds up the process, and it's really, really helpful. As you can see, look, compared to the beginning of the video, obviously it's gonna stiffen up a little bit, but it's not gonna be as stiff as before as long as you play with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. I know not everybody likes the, the uh, this process. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than before, boys. It's still wet, obviously. It's gonna take a while to dry. But yeah, I got pretty much the form I want on it. Maybe a little bit wider. I'm gonna play with it. Make sure y'all play with it during uh, the process. I'm gonna give y'all updates, actually. This video isn't over yet, so yeah. This is the next day after uh, the hot water treatment, boys. As you can see, it's got its form holding, just the way I like it. Got a little indention. And that's how it closes now. Before it was like this, now it's all the way here. This is just how the uh, hot water treatment speeds up the process. Holds the shape perfectly fine. As you can see, it doesn't ruin the leather. No water sitting in it no more. Got a little grass specks on it now. Then it ruined the fur. I try to avoid putting the water in the fur. Just pour it like right here. Just pour it right in. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. This, this glove's coming along really nicely. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this method. Anyways, and these are all out. Peace.